<sighs> Good morning. Mike Scott here, the film critic at the Times Picayune in New Orleans and NOLA.com. Welcome back to the Movie Cave for today's Popcorn Breakfast. Today is Wednesday, January 28th, 2015. And we'll start today with an update on Ghostbusters. This is Columbia Pictures' long-running attempts to restart that comic franchise. Uh, over the years, it's just been had, having a lot of trouble getting that original cast together, specifically having a, a script that Bill Murray would agree to do, reportedly. And so, you'll remember several months ago, they decided to go in a new direction. They announced that they were going to have an all-female Ghostbusters. Bridesmaids director Paul Feig is going to direct. And now, uh, on Tuesday... Unconfirmed reports started surfacing that the cast was in place. And then shortly after those reports started surfacing, Feig tweeted this, confirming those reports. It's a picture of apparently the new cast of Ghostbusters. That's, of course, Kristen Wiig and Melissa McCarthy at the top. They starred in Feig's uh, Bridesmaids, so this will be a Bridesmaids reunion. On the bottom, on the left, that's Kate McKinnon and Leslie Jones. They are uh, two of the current cast of Saturday Night Live, and anybody who watches that show knows they're also two of the funniest people of that current cast. And just shortly after he tweeted out that photo, Feig also sent this tweet out uh, saying, in other news, Ghostbusters is headed for release on, on July 22nd, 2016. So things are coming together pretty quickly on this. Again, nothing's confirmed by the studio, although Feig is a pretty good source on this one since he's directing the film. We'll bring you more as official word is released. And now moving on to something purely from the rumor department, but it's too good of a rumor to pass up. According to unconfirmed reports and unnamed sources at, uh, through Deadline, Disney is looking at restarting the Indiana Jones franchise, and at the top of its wish list to star is none other than this guy, Chris Pratt. Of course, you'll remember him from Guardians of the Galaxy last year, made a name for himself in that film. He's going to star in the New Orleans shot Jurassic World later this year, so he's a hot property right now. And then you'll remember it in the, the, the most recent Indiana Jones film, Indiana Jones and the Kingdom of the Crystal Skull, it looked as if the torch was being passed off to Shia LaBeouf, who co-starred in that film. Of course, soon thereafter, LaBeouf started engaging in repeated, erratic, and very public behavior. So it looks like the plans to, to hand it off to him are now history. Chris, pa Chris Pratt could be the next guy up. We'll bring you more on this as it develops and if Disney does uh, uh, release any official statements on it. And then finally today, if you know the, uh, the story of the USS Indianapolis, chances are it's probably from Robert Shaw's unforgettable monologue in the film Jaws, uh, of course telling the story of the 1945 sinking of that American battleship in shark-infested waters. Now it's headed for the big screen. Robert Downey Jr. and Susan Downey have been working on getting a, a feature film about the USS Indianapolis together. On Tuesday, they announced their director, and it is none other than the Mississippi uh, filmmaker Tate Taylor. He's the same guy behind The Help, as well as the James Brown biopic Get On Up. No word on when the USS Indianapolis film will start shooting, but we'll bring you more on that as it develops. And that's all the time that I have for today. Enjoy the rest of your Wednesday.